I want to show you guys this because this is this is really really cool. Hemp fibers are 10 times stronger than cotton fibers and they're more sustainable to grow and I'll tell you why because they don't require as much pesticide, they don't require as much nutrients and they can be grown closer together. Okay, so we're talking about the cordage and fiber that's been used for generations, thousands of years. Now it got lost for a while because of this prohibition that's been in place, but now we're starting to see people use it again and I'm telling you, if you could buy a shirt that could last 10 times longer than a cotton shirt, why wouldn't you buy it? Okay, think about that. Check out the, I want to point out the, the how soft this is. I want to point out how rich this purple color is, this plum, this plum. But this is a hemp shirt, a hemp sweater. And then this, these are these hemp pants, and they have almost like a linen texture to them. They feel very much like linen. And so, if you could wear pants or buy pants and, and, and spend the money on something that's quality made in America and that it lasts longer than regular cotton variety pants, then why wouldn't you do it? Think about it. What's up, hey, Ron? Yes. How are you? Well. I gotta tell you, the texture of your clothes, the colors, kick ass. Yeah. Okay. You. Tell me about it. Give me, give me the lowdown. How okay. did you get into this? So I was a very good student, and uh, in college, did your homework. Yes, did my homework. Okay. Learned how to ma minimize study and maximize play, and then I went to graduate school and got my master's and my PhD in English at Berkeley. Nice. Uh, I taught literature and film history for ten years, and I was feeling a little bit like I wanted to do something for the earth because I felt that in this time of environmental crises and the crises brought on by the environmental crisis. Absolutely. Like fires. Um, that it was time for me to do something to respond to what the world needed most. And I didn't know what that was. Can I ask you a question? What was it that was a catalyst that made you go to that? Or was it just ongoing and just, it progressed? Just, just, just learning about global warming okay. mostly um, and believing it. and. Oh, I believe like, it's like, real. Like most rational people. Uh, and, uh, look at our seasons right now. We're like two and a half months off, right? At least. Maybe more. The it's fires in L.A. in December, unheard of. Right. So, you know, fires. Anyway, we won't talk about that. <laughs> okay. But I basically just wanted to uh, do something good. I discovered hemp clothing at a little, a little store in San Luis Obispo called the Hemp Shack. And uh, I thought, you know, this feels like plants. And I said... I know cotton's a plant, but it doesn't really feel like a plant. And, and when I put the hemp on, it felt, instead of being like a barrier, it felt like a permeable barrier with the world. So I felt more in conversation with the world. And uh, and then I met some guy in LA who was selling hemp clothing, and then I he wanted to see if I'd partner with him. And I discovered the Green Festival in San Francisco and this whole community of green business people who cared about the triple bottom line, which was a new concept to me and it was like oh yeah that makes sense people planet and profit you know or planet people and profit or profit people and planet and they're all equal they all have they're all considered right. and so anyway so I got into hemp as a sort of side thing while I was lecturing in film history at Loyola Marymount and then uh, in uh, Santa Monica LA, yeah. or in LA okay. yeah and then little by little it became more vital than my academic life and I really enjoyed who you know, basically knowing that when someone bought a pair of pants or, or a hoodie or a t-shirt that they'd be loving it. And it's, it's gonna last forever. Last a long time. And, right. and Ten times longer than cotton I believe? It depends. I mean there are hemp cotton blends that are pretty durable too but uh, yeah typically hemp lasts about five times longer. Okay. Five times. So that's <laughs> And it breathes, That's plenty. It breathes really nicely, and it, it's antimicrobial, and it lets your skin stay dry, and lets your skin breathe, and it just feels amazing. I hope you'll try one on. Would you guys like to see him trying on, <laughs> trying one on, trying on a T-shirt? Let me. How about, a, how about how about I try on a sweater? Viewership this. <laughs> let's do it. All let's right. Try on a sweater. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Over here. Pull that off. Come on. No. No right. collar. No collar. Let's let's. What are you gonna do with the collar? Okay. This ensemble took a while to put together. Oh, okay. <laughs> By the way, let's look at this real quick. Look at the texture. 
And it's stretchy, but it's strong at the same time. And it breathes, uh, and it regulates. And does it shrink? It, it, no. It's set, that's yeah, it. Yeah, because we do garment, garment dye. So the last thing that happened is that this thing was in it, was in it at the dye house where it got dyed, and then it went into a high temperature dryer that took all the shrunk out of it. Mm. In fact, it could open up a little bit after you put it on. Really? Yeah. So it almost open. molds to you? Yeah, it's very nice. Really? That's cool. Oh, that's a long, long Five times longer, 69 bucks. That's a deal. And also made in the USA. Made in the USA. With family owned factory. You, can, uh, look, you, you got some big guns on you. <laughs> yeah, so right. You can open up. Yeah. How does it now? Now, that looks good, huh? How does it feel? Feels great. Let's take a picture. Feels great. But my hat's been so off this whole time. All right. I think you're good. Eh, it looks fine. Sweet. I'm gonna keep that with me. Do you have a bag? Yeah, here. Let me do something. Watch this. <laughs> That's my looks, accent. My that accent looks color. Preppy. <laughs> <laughs> it totally looks preppy. Yeah. It, this coordinates everything. This brings my ensemble together. Hey, look at that. <laughs>